You know, when you talk about rainy days, rainy Saturday, you think about cozying up with a book, especially maybe a cozy mystery. This morning, we're joined by Darcy Hanna, author of Murder at the Blueberry Festival. Oh, Darcy, hi. thank you for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's exciting uh, to be here. You're our first in-person <gasps> guest on Saturday since COVID hit. So it's really an exciting time. Wow. Well, I, sure. I feel like I'm better in person. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You get, to, re you get to read what's see. in my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll get started on your book first. It kind of reads sure. as a cozy mystery. Um, in the summertime, tell us what inspired you to write um, something like this. Sure. So, um, so I'm going to just talk about like just how what inspired me to write the series. Um, so, Murder at the Blueberry Festival is the third book in the in the um, Beacon Bake Shop mystery series. And so, when I started to write the series, um, I had been a, a historical fiction writer first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so um, I, I had a lull in that career, and I thought I'd write a mystery, and I didn't know I wrote a cozy mystery. Um, they're different because cozy mysteries are like a gentler, kind of funnier mm -hmm. mystery. They're not like a psycho thriller. And I mean, they, I mean, you can sleep at the end of the day when you yes. read. A lot of people read these at night. Um, they're just a lot of fun. So this one, I decided my protagonist um, was a former Wall Street investment banker who ends up buying a lighthouse in a beautiful, charming little Michigan, you know, lakeside town, and then she runs a bakery out of it. So. Um, that's kind of the premise. So all the all the all the mysteries center around events that have food, <laughs> which is <laughs> lucky for me. You know? And so it's fun. And so in this one, um, I knew this was going to be a summer book, and I just oh, blueberry festival just came to my mind right away. Um, okay. We love blueberries in Michigan. I know you guys yes, love them too. Yeah. And they're the, I mean they're the best berry to bake with. Okay. Try, try putting a strawberry in baked goods. It's get a little mushy, but <laughs> so you know, so that was part of it. But they're just fun. Small town festivals are wonderful. So we explore that a bit in here. And because it's a murder mystery, um, a body shows up. Yes, <laughs> I I got to that part in the book, and I was like, huh. At first, so at first when I started reading it, which I did read this, you all, oh, I did yay. read it. Um, <laughs> When I started, I won't give away too much, but it's kind of little twists, and I'm like, okay, wait, I thought it was a murder. Like, from the very beginning, it says Where's murder. I'm like, where is it? I thought it was going to be right at the beginning, like, bam, and it wasn't. I, I'm kind of cruel that way. I throw Because a lot of murder mysteries start with the body. Um, because I started in the historical fiction genre, I... I do that to you. Yeah, I you make did. you. I make you work for the body. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, when is it gonna come? And then boom. Yeah, halfway, and I wasn't <laughs> expecting it at all. So that was definitely Good. interesting. Um, you mentioned food. Yes. Definitely a lot of food in here. Like the whole first, <laughs> first hundred pages. I'm like, wow, I'm starving. <laughs> so that, what inspires you to, oh. uh, you know, have? food and recipes, you got them at the back of the book. I saw that when I had kind of skimmed through it. Yeah, yeah. So what inspires that? So that's inspired by, um, I love baking. And so the cozy mystery genre, usually the protagonist does some really kind of a charming or fun community-based business. So it would be like a coffee house, maybe somebody has a yarn shop. I love baking, so for me it was a natural step to move into food. Um, that is one of the one of the dangers of reading these books. Um, people do, they say, sport, you know, you know, danger. You're going to start craving baked goods, um, and that's why I put the recipes in there because I feel you're reading about them. I have to write about them because that's part of the part of the hook, you know. Um, but it would be cruel if I didn't put those recipes in the back for you to try. Also, I know um, book clubs. When they read this, they love it because they have the you know they have some suggestions of what to make. So a lot of times I'll go to book clubs and they'll make the food, and I, I've, I've started adding alcoholic beverages too oh, because we okay. know that. So they're they're on theme. So this one we have a blueberry mint julep. Okay, I did so. see that. So do you these recipes are they your recipes that you've some of them done? are? Okay. Yeah, some of them are, and a lot of times like if it's a family recipe, I love to include that because I've mm -hmm. made it a hundred times and I know it's good. Um, but a lot of times, you know, for blueberries, I um, in this book I have um, a blueberry buckle, which is a traditional, mm -hmm. it's a traditional like northeast blueberry, mm -hmm. cake, kind of like a coffee cake. So I made several different ones, and I like tweaked it to figure out which okay. one I like the best. So I'll do that, and then. You'll get that recipe, what I think is good, but you might. I mean, feel free to add to anything, yeah, honestly. Yeah, we'll that's twist what, on it. That's what makes baking fun, is exactly. you make it your own, you know? Okay, well, we've got time, Darcy, for one more question. So talk to us about how you became an author and I guess your journey through um, all of these books. Okay, yeah, so um, 
being, you know, the, the publishing industry is notoriously difficult to get into. So, um, you know, I tried, and I, like I said, I started out in, in historical fiction. I thought that's what I was going to do. Um, so I've been a published author for 12 years. Uh, in the middle of that, I kind of had a low in my career, and then I wrote A Cozy Mystery. And, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't really know that was the type of mystery I wrote, but that was the type of mystery I loved reading. I've read all kinds of things. I love historical fiction. I love the hard-boiled mysteries. Um, but for some reason, I just wanted to write a fun, um, entertaining. I think they're more entertaining. Um, and there's a mystery, there's a puzzle to solve, and there's food to bake. So, I mean, I think I've got the best of both worlds. Yes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing that now. Um, it's, like I said, it's the Beacon Bake Shop Mystery Series. And so I've just finished the fourth book. We always write a yeah. year out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll, I'll be hopefully starting the fifth book soon. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I, you know, it's, it's really enjoyable. And especially coming up with some of those recipes. Perfect. I get to, yeah, yeah, spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Yes, there you go. Okay, so uh, last question, we're going to let you go. You've got an event in Perrysburg coming up, yes, so tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, so I'm so excited that this book inspired a blueberry bake-off. So it's going to be in Perrysburg, uh, Ohio, at this wonderful independent bookstore called Gathering Volumes, and they're just so supportive. They're wonderful. So it's going to be next Sunday, which is the uh, 31st of July, and it's going to be at 2.30. Um, you, if you want to, if you're a baker, <laughs> enter, enter a baker if you wanted to be a taster. Come on in and taste. I'm going to be a taster. And of course, I'll be there signing books and talking, you know, talking with people, just enjoying blueberries. We're going to have our own little blueberry festival. Exactly. But without the murder, right? <laughs> well, we hope. No, 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 without, without the murder. So come on out. <laughs> awesome. Well, Darcy, thank you so thank much you, for Kaylee. joining us what a pleasure. here today. And stick with us. We will have more this morning when we come back.